Hi guys, so today we are going to take a look at some more nougat on U Euphoria. So the developer has uh, removed the setup wizard and also fixed the video playback. So now you can watch YouTube videos or any other videos. Now I don't know about encoding like the recording of the video whether it works or not. I have not still flashed the ROM so I don't know. Uh, but in this previous build of uh, the camera is not pretty working fine cause it's not like clicking the pictures it's just fine as i told you in the installation video i did yesterday i told you to delete the cyanogen mode setup wizard and please don't delete the setup wizard if you still have that build please download a new build then you will get the setup wizard and just set it up as a normal rom and as you can see everything is working now my notifications are also working and at the time let me show you a quick little thing let me go to my channel there are all three oh now there's a four you guys are just killing it so thanks guys very much for the support so let's just take a, a look around no good all of the keys are working as you can see recent apps just go to the phone then now there is a bit of a delay like a millisecond delay you can't like notice it a lot but there is a delay in animations which can be forgettable in the next upcoming builds from the developer mail everything is working just fine probably the ui looks um, pretty much the same as the marshmallow but if you notice the status bar becomes a more like a better dark than before as seen on the previous versions of Android. That would be good. Let me increase the brightness. I don't know why the brightness is not just settling it down. Now we have the recent apps. It just takes a bit of time as this is a very slow device. Pretty much very small. It's like annoying compared to the lollipop because I can't really see the backward tiles like over here. But let me just uh, show you the multi window. Just press it like that. Now the tray comes just like Samsung TouchWiz. Open another app. This may not be it's split screen. I know it's still in beta. Now I really can't resize the uh, what you say windows because it's a very small device. I guess it may be working on a Pixel C or a tablet which runs Marshmallow. Sorry, Nougat. But it doesn't like readjust itself. And there you guys are slamming me with the comments. Will it work on any? No, bro. A specific uh, ROM is made for a specific device for a specific hardware. Let's just take a look at whether it works in landscape. Yep. Works totally fine. Can we readjust it? Nope. Still don't know why. And if you exit it like that, it will just bug off. So please go to the app, reopen it and then do it or you will just bug off the whole system UI. Let's just take a look at the easter egg. Please let me know in the comment section below if I am going too fast for you. Sorry for that, 7.0, nougat. I am so lucky like, I have this euphoria cause every other device I own is a Samsung device and it never gets a latest Android version nor like a software development like this and the Nougat had just released 7 days ago and now we have it in our hands which is really cool build number I have already enabled the developer options which is good now I can't find a advanced reboot option over here just root access which is kind of weird but nothing more to be seen over here disable absolute volume what's that okay some of the new features are present over here smallest bit what's that okay secondary display dp more of uh, screen mirroring options nothing much to see over here now we let's enter into the accessibility display size this is very cool without reboot you can just make yourself <laughs> an access 5x to a 6p there you go now enjoy your larger device looks pretty nice actually but it will be much harder to read text so I won't keep it like that just wait a second to adjust itself yep and hit back 
nothing much over here color invasion color correction uh, everything is just working fine except for the camera let me show you stock camera with the pico jet not super or anything if you flash the super or stock it will just run out of the storage cause this rom weighs over 531 mb not like the previous which was around 300 mb and you still have a space in system in order to install some mods and g apps like higher ones so i highly suggest you to install nano mini or pico and then just install your apps from the play store let's see whether we can get it to work yup now the camera works holy moly let me take another one the quality looks pretty good yup that's actually very nice you can't notice it in the camera finally now let's head on to the notification panel there we have the trait i don't know how it still works i'm just trying to figure it out as you know we now have the clear all button over here and that's pretty much it yup you do get the music 11 from the past no much of a major changes over here i guess cyanogen mod team has to do something with this cause it's very old it's from the kitkat it's still the same it's been three years and that's okay share it is working wi-fi hotspot everything is working just fine i just uploaded two videos from this rom pretty good so guys thanks for watching this was my review for android nougat on new euphoria fully working this is the nexus launcher and let me just show you a bit of a difference over here if you notice let me just go to the gallery screenshot this is a marshmallow and as you notice this is totally transparent but on nougat you do get a white tint which is a bit of annoying but it's a cool touch piece